expired domains or aged auction domains for a PBN? Uh, both. Both can yeah. be fine. Yeah, with uh, expired, you're just going to have a longer waiting period before um, you know they're usable or or they show value. Um, and with aged, you know, there's still a waiting period actually once you build it, unless you pick it up immediately after it's been dropped or, or it's got a bunch of indexed pages. Um, so yeah, you know, our preference and what we've always used, um, you know, uh, since we started this business at least is, uh, age domains and that's just to hack some of the time frame. but that's not to say that a well-built, uh, PBN on an expired domain can't resonate fairly quickly and then uh, be used to produce power towards your money asset. For sure. Um, yeah. Yeah. You know, so yeah, you know, concern yourself more with, do I like the backlink profile of this thing? And am I willing to wait um, a decent amount of time uh, for it to help with my rankings of my money site? Um, you know, if you find an expired domain, it's got 600 referring domains from high quality sites, well diversified backlink profile, and an age domain with 30, um, you know, equal. Uh, hypothetical, if you can only afford one, then I'd probably do the waiting period and I'd go with a 400. Yeah. Um, yeah, you know, au auction domains, auction domains, you can just kind of see them um, as, I don't want to say safer, but um you're, you're just yeah kind of... there's a chance your expired domain if it was used for uh, nefarious practice beforehand might not resonate in the serps for... i've i've let them sit for years um and uh, the longest one that i remember taking was like two years before it uh, was indexed <laughs> and resonating again and so also remember this that like just because you're building them <laughs> don't expect that uh, they're just going to be usable right out of the gate. Like if you buy an expired or an aged and then you hit, you build it and a month later you send a link back to your money site, exact match anchor, and nothing happens, a lot of people are like, well, nothing happened. It must be broken and blah, blah, blah. No, it's just like any other website. You know, imagine that there's, you know, we talked about the sandbox period or like, you know, how we identify with the sandbox period. That exists for all websites. Google doesn't know whether it's a PBN or not. It's just going through the same motions with all these websites. Um, so personally, when I build a fresh PBN, right, uh, specific to manipulate one particular mus money asset, um, I'm just building them and I'm going about my backlinking as usual and I never give it a second thought. I literally never give it a second thought. And that's why I advise, you know, if you're wanting to build your own PBN and stuff, uh, just imagine, like, just conceptualize that it's expensive to build. It's risky in the sense that a de-index means, you, you know, you're you're out of luck on being able to use it. And, um, yeah, you know, if it, you can just purchase these links from a network like ours um, or, you know, there's a few other vendors maybe at this point uh, that know how to build them quality enough so that they uh, they work for you and they don't get de-indexed or they have minimal de-indexes. Um, but yeah, I, I would say cost benefit, if I had to do it over again, I don't think I would have ever gotten into personal PBN building like I did early on. Um, I probably would have just gone out and rented or uh, purchased backlinks off high quality PBNs. The issue is that it's uh, hard to come by those now. Uh, I will say this, and let me know what you think about this, Nick. It's just kind of my um, my advice for someone asking this question, which would probably be someone that's you know not too experienced with PBN uh, or domains in general. I would say uh, I think I would advise them to stick with if they're going to buy their own domains if they're doing it themselves. I would I would advise them to stick with uh, not cheap but somewhat cheaper uh, auction domains at first. Um, yeah. Probably, probably so. Um, just because it's a little bit easier, it's a little bit more of a, a sure deal. Um, you know, the thing that, is, it, the, the competition now is yeah, making it to where there's not many cheap domains at auction. You know, unless you're really good at hunting, um, you know, which, you know, this is something where 
nobody's really going to share that information with you. Their exact criteria of what they do to hunt these auction domains, especially now. Um, I used to give this information out um, all the time uh, because I didn't really think about it too much. But um, yeah, you don't want people sniping the same criteria that you're using, let's say, with Spamzilla or with Register Compass, um, because you know then they're going to be attacking the same type of domains that you're going after, right? And so up. those are two tools that you can use. Um, but again, you're changing up criteria over time to get recipes to success for those as well. But um, yeah, sorry, I think I went off the deep end a little bit um, when I was saying why I would just purchase links from a vendor is because typically those domains would have already had content running through them. They would have been resonating in the SERPs and they would have had some trust value to where the link juice, so to speak, um, does affect your site more rapidly than if you build from scratch. Um, and if you're newer to SEO, you probably looked into PBNs because you're like, whoa, I figured out the main hack to ranking with the most power and I'm going to dominate the SERPs because I'm super good at this now. <laughs> and it's just not how it works. <laughs> it's just not. Um, and that's why, you know, I, I'm saying like when I build a private PBN for a specific money asset, um, I, I build it uh, based on the criteria that I use to build mine. And uh, then I basically forget about it. And maybe every so often I'll come in and I'll check for de-indexes or broken things. Um, but yeah, that's that's essentially what I'm doing. Um, and then I'm keeping my other backlinking campaigns going. But this question sounds like me early on uh, where I was thinking, you know, if I just learn how to build PBNs, I'm going to be able to dominate the SERPs. And it's uh, not really that simple. It wasn't that simple when I first got into it. And it's definitely not that simple now. But yeah, you know, if if you choose do choose to go that route, uh, I'll just reiterate: probably best to stick with uh, aged auction domains uh, for yeah. the time being, and then uh, you can you can kind of start dabbling with expired domains, right? But and and keep um, it small, um, you know, keep it small so that you don't get overwhelmed with footprints and all that kind of stuff. Um, you know, really get a feel for it and get a feel for it over time. You know, if you're building your first PBN, um, buy a handful of them, build them out, um, you know, really study what it takes to keep them alive. And then, um, you know, probably mess with just that handful for the first, you know, five, six months if you really want to get a feel for things and slowly build onto it. Hey everybody, thanks for watching. Be sure to check the description below for links to our blog for more info on this topic, along with a bunch of other cool stuff like case studies, our Facebook community, and our link building services. And like always, remember to like, comment, subscribe, and turn on the notification bell if you enjoyed the video. Thanks and happy ranking.